Now, NASA's launch from a commercial site outside of the United States blasted off from Australia's outback in a historic moment for the country's space industry. The launch is momentous as it is the first in Australia in more than 25 years. The suborbital rocket took off from the Arnhem Space Centre to soar into the sky after a series of rain and wind delays. The rocket is expected to study X-rays emanating from the Alpha Centauri systems after reaching the rocket's payload is to capture data on the star systems before parachuting back to Earth. People keep asking me, am I excited about it? I haven't had one second of excitement because we've been so busy. Uh, I want to get that. You know, I don't want this to pass and, you know, be flippant about it. It, it, it. This is a momentous occasion for us as a company in particular, but it's historic for Australia. And so I don't want that to pass without it sort of, you know, feeling good. Um, but for us, we're then right back into it. You know, 4th of July is the next launch. And so we need to, you know, dust ourselves off, take a day off and then get back into it in readiness for the next launch because it's just as important. Now, Australia has stepped up its space efforts in recent times, unveiling a defence agency focused on countering Russia and China's ambitions in space. The Arnhem Space Centre is the first and only commercially owned and run equatorial launch site in the world. As the next launch is expected to take place on the 4th of July, NASA has pledged to collect all material and debris and return them to the United States. Three, two, one. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.